Beat from the Versatile Drummer video is just entitled Heavy and really it can encompass a number of different styles. Obviously it's um, a very loud, aggressive rock beat um, but the thing that's unique about it is that it's not fast. Uh, a lot of people think that in order to play with huge intensity that the tempo also has to be fast. It doesn't. So as with so many of the grooves that we've looked at so far and many uh, of the grooves to come, the feel is largely determined by how you're playing the hi-hat you'll notice that in all the things that we've looked at so far, the shuffles and all that sort of stuff, I've been really paying huge attention to the hi-hat. It's, it's such a uh, critical part of defining our sound in, in the styles that we're playing. So this time round, instead of going for the whole two sound level concept, shoulder of the stick on the edge, tip on the top and all that sort of stuff like I do talk about for many funk beats and fusion and Latin American and stuff like this, uh, this time round going for a really loose hi-hat sound. So I've got uh, not, I don't have the hi-hats apart like that, but I certainly do have probably the foot up, I don't know, a centimetre or something like that. And I'm really going for it on every single eighth note, all right, not holding back at all. So um, the attack of the and the sound of the drums and the, the sound of the, the way that you attack the drums is very much a part of this style, okay? So we can just think of it as like heavy rock or hard rock playing. It's probably not technically... Uh, hard rock or whatever. I know people get really um, precious about their subgenres. It's got to be the right subgenre, but it's just a loud, heavy, intense rock beat, but it's not fast, okay? Um, it still has to really groove. One thing when you're really going hard at a beat, there can be a natural tendency to want to speed up and play a bit faster. It just goes with uh, ha having more effort in your playing. There can be a tendency to sort of overcompensate a bit and speed up at the same time. So it's actually quite an art form to play with a really heavy feel, but actually keep the tempo back. All right. So it's still got a really nice groove about it. So here's the beat here. Now, when I play around the toms like that, I'm using 30 second note fills, okay? And we'll have a look at that and the intro fill in a second. But first of all, we'll just have a look at how I'm uh, playing the beat. Okay, so really the main thing that I'm doing, if we take away the heavy snare drum, uh, the heavy hi-hat part rather, is that I'm just playing Okay, so I'm playing one and two a three and four, a one and two, a three and four. So I'm playing one and one and, and three and three and on the bass drum, plus their preceding 16th notes. Okay, so you can actually use that in like a funk thing. But again, we're doing it with a different hi-hat figure, so it gives it a completely different feel. All right, so this is something like you'd hear Chad Smith play from the Chili Peppers or something like that. Really heavy, heavy groove, but still actually quite funky. Playing the hi-hat, shoulder of the stick on the edge of the hi-hats, of course, but this time really digging in, picking the stick up and not worrying about the in-between eighth note being soft and raising the wrist to play the tip on the top and that sort of stuff, which is a little bit more delicate. Um, this time around, every single eighth note really digging in. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to it. If you open the hi-hats too much, it's a little bit overkill. It doesn't quite sound any good if you go. Uh, that's just way too much. And if they're too tight and you're hitting them too hard, it's a bit choked, right? So do loosen them the correct amount. All right. As far as the feel goes at the start, or any kind of variation on that. You could do it, you know. Okay, so long as you get back to the snare and you use the same sequence of drums with the bass drums in between.